Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to another day of eating and what we eat in a day. Of course, I always start my day off with a good cup of coffee and lately I've been kind of in a whipped cream kick and putting whipped cream on my coffee. It's just this little treat that I get to give myself in the morning. So this morning, the girls have had a little snack often what I do um, if you guys are new around here a lot of times before breakfast just so that I can get my head together sit down and look at my planner for a second um, get my meal plan done anything else I need to be doing I often give them a little snack so they've had some Cheerios and um, then I'm gonna be making them breakfast here in just a second so like I said I'm sitting down to look over my planner I do this every single morning and Everly is here working on some of her letters next to me because she is starting school and I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by pilot they make juggling motherhood and meal planning and planning and now of course doing a lot of school and things like that here at home a lot easier. They have a huge variety of pens and writing tools that will help with all of your needs through this school year. Personally, my favorite place to get school supplies and things from Pilot is Target. That's where I picked all of these things up and we're gonna show you a couple of our favorites. My daughter and I had so much fun picking from the many, many different types of writing tools Pilot has. Friction color sticks are so perfect for back to school. I absolutely love the entire concept of erasable pens, especially with my daughter learning how to write her letters and of course using her creative side to draw and sketch. Diving into learning at home can be stressful enough, so it's awesome to have a pen that you can erase and they can start over. It doesn't leave any wear and tear on the paper or have messy eraser shavings. I know that we will be purchasing friction color sticks throughout this school year and for many years to come. Pilot's G2 writes smoothly, comfortably, and has been proven to last longer than the average competitive gel ink brands and is the number one selling gel ink brand in America. The G2 product line includes four point sizes, more than 27 color options, and multiple barrel styles to suit every personality and situation. No matter who you are or how you write, there is sure to be a G2 perfectly suited for you. Like all G2, the fashion collection writes smoothly and has a comfortable rubber grip. I am someone that writes so many lists, even in one single day. So I'm always looking for quality pens to write with, and this is definitely the ticket. Check out the links in the description box to pick up your school supplies from Pilot at Target. Okay guys, so now that I have my morning kicked off right, I've got some coffee in my system, I've went over my planner, I've got my grocery list made out so that I can do my grocery order, and I've got my meals planned for the week. That always takes so much stress off of me once I have all of that done. Um, and it's just how I like to start my day so that I have kind of a to-do list ahead of me. So now we're gonna have like real breakfast. I do intermittent fasting, so coffee is kind of just what I stick to in the morning and um, and then I have my my lunch usually after the girls have their lunch so for breakfast this morning we're gonna do some smoothies they haven't had them for a while and then we're going to also do some avocado toast some things that they really like I like to try to keep meals very like 
different a lot of the time if you guys watch my channel you know that we do have a few things that are staples that i make a lot but i also try to keep things changed up just so that their taste buds are used to trying new things and it's really made them not very picky eaters through the years i've done it since they were babies so um i like to keep things different got the toast going in the pan and we don't own a toaster this is how we do our toast it's my favorite way to make toast I just would rather have it this way than in a toaster because it's so much more moist so we got butter in the pan them toasting and then I pulled this stuff out to make up a really really simple smoothie we're just gonna do some plain Greek yogurt some almond milk and some um, tropical blend I got this at Aldi and if it's not sweet enough, I might add a little stevia, but I think it's going to be because this is pretty sweet fruit. Okay, so sometimes Corey has breakfast and sometimes he doesn't, but today he stopped back through um, on his way to another job, and so I made him a quick breakfast just with toast, bacon, avocado, and eggs. So this is what he's having. All right, you guys, so what are we gonna make for lunch? Pizza! Pizza, pizza. are you gonna help me? You gonna make your own little pizzas? Uh -huh. This is a fun little activity, isn't it? Uh -huh. What do you like to put on your pizza? Uh -huh. Cheese and macaroni. All right, so this is a really simple lunch idea that makes them happy because they feel like they've done something themselves. So I just got these little pizza crusts from Target and then some pepperonis, some marinara, and I'm gonna shred up some Parmesan for them to put over the top. <laughs> I'll let you see it.
So, how is it? Love it. Want some applesauce? You guys did a great job. What do you think, Evie? How is it? Good. All right, so the girls are wrapping up their uh, lunch. I had a couple bites of their pizza. But now I'm going to make my lunch and I'm gonna do something super, super simple. Let me show you what I'm gonna make. So the girls are gonna be up from their naps in just a few minutes. And usually whenever they wake up, I like to have a little snack for them. So I'm gonna pull something together, kinda of go in the pantry, put a little snack plate together for them so they have something that will hold them over until dinner time. Okay guys, so tonight for dinner, we are going to be making some stuffed peppers. And I'm pretty excited about making these because I have yet to find the perfect stuffed pepper recipe. I've tried different ones. This one looks really good. It has a lot of ingredients that lasagna has in it. So I'm hoping that this one turns out delicious. I have had a pound of beef thawing out in the sink today and let's go ahead and get started. I decided to use some of my pretty dishes for dinner tonight. So I'm going to use this thing and every single time you guys see these pans, I have a couple sizes of them. You ask me where they're from and I will be honest, I've even looked to see if I can find something similar online and I haven't been able to. But as far as I know, my mom bought them and gave them to me and as far as I know, they are from Sam's Club. Um, they were like a deal they had at one point. So I'm gonna put the peppers in here. I thought it would be kind of a fun way to bake them and these this can go in the oven. Um, so I'm gonna do those in here and then I'm also doing a version of scalloped potatoes but instead of potatoes I'm doing zucchini. And who says that you have to always use a pie plate just for pie, you can use it for other things. I thought it would be kind of fun to stack the zucchini in here. And of course all of it gets baked. Here are my zucchini and I'm gonna cut them like super, super thin and then lay them out on a cookie sheet before I put them in here. Put them in the oven to broil for a little bit before moving on to the next step. It kind of cooks them a little bit. And I'm following a Pinterest recipe, which I'll link below. And I'm really hoping this turns out because I've considered doing this before and coming up with my own recipe, but now I have one.
thanks so much for joining us for a what we eat in a day. This meal was delicious. I'm definitely making the zucchini recipe again. It was so incredibly good. And I don't know, it was just a different flavor and it's a great side to add into my list of sides. Also, don't forget to check out the links below to try out products from Pilot. I'm so glad that I was able to partner with them. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed, joined my channel for lots more foodie content. Don't forget to give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.